My name is Paul Spar. I'm the leader of the Aerial and Aquatic Robot Research Team. It's a division of the Pirate Lab. And I'm Chris Wells. I'm a remotely operated vehicle technician. And so what we're doing here is we're working with the OpenROV platform, which is an open source uh, maker community type project, which we've been building over the past year and a half. And uh, what we have here is, uh, this is called Pearl, or the Black Pearl. Uh, this is one of our transect ROVs that we typically use for intertidal transects. Uh, but right now, we're retrofitting it to do a little bit of a different kind of a survey. So for tomorrow, we're going to be going out to the Santa Barbara Channel, along with the Santa Barbara Channel Keeper, on their research vessel, the RV Channel Keeper. And we're going to be taking Pearl here and going and looking at the, the seafloor, the benthos, and looking for signs of oil. We'll also be skirting around the the area outside of the refugio spill, we'll be looking mostly at the open areas, not the closed areas. And so we're going to start down below uh, El Capitan, more than 500 meters off the coast, and make our way up to refugio. And then we're going to go to the Naples Marine Protected Area and uh, do some surveys there looking for any oil vegetation. And we just throw this in the water? That's all we do? Well, no. So this, uh, this system here, it's, uh, it's an ROV that's a remotely operated vehicle. And so what that means is it's essentially a remote controlled submarine. Uh, we control it with a laptop, which is right here. We use a tough book. And so OpenROV has developed a set of software where we have a live camera feed and we're able to control it. It looks a lot like a video game. You mean live camera feed like from that? Yes, <laughs> precisely. And so we also have uh, additional GoPros, which allow us to have a higher quality and a wider angle field of reference and so we can also in addition to having forward facing cameras we have downward facing cameras as well cool and so it just it just goes free or is it attached in some way well so there's a tether here uh, so when you think of remotely controlled vehicles typically you think of radio controlled but because of the nature of water radio waves typically don't penetrate through uh, there's certain frequencies that can but uh, unfortunately with something this small it's really not possible so we use what's called a tether uh, this gives the data, so it's the information of uh, the video, and then also our control commands. All the power is on board here in these two tubes you see on the side. That's where the batteries go, and uh, it has about a three hour life that we can do dives with per battery set. And so, typically when you have ROVs, you have something that's huge, or you have huge, something Huge, like that? Yes, like that. That's the Phantom 500 by a deep ocean engineering. And so with that sort of ROV, you have a power source which comes from the surface. So you have to have a ship with a crane that can lower the ROV into the water and also has a substantial power um, unit which they can power it from the boat itself. So with this, we can throw this into a backpack. It has its own batteries and as long as we have a laptop that has batteries as well, we can deploy this in remote locations without having special equipment. And uh, because it fits in a backpack and it's small, we can literally throw it in either on the beach or off a small boat or a kayak. You mean a, a container like that? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Oh, sorry, that, that, that's a UAV. That's a wrong container. <laughs> Should have shown a different day. So, oh, this sounds incredibly expensive, you guys. This must be what, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars for one of these units? Well, amazingly, uh, since this is a, uh, an a open source kit, you don't have the, the proprietary costs that are associated with it because this is community made. So a lot of this was made to be low cost and this unit right here cost approximately a thousand dollars and with all the bells and whistles it's just under two thousand uh, dollars for this the, the kind that we use. Two thousand dollars? Yes, two thousand dollars. And this one right here, the uh, the Phantom 500, you start at about a hundred thousand dollars and that's with limited sensors. Wow, two thousand dollars is way cheaper than a hundred thousand dollars. That's yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Anything else you guys want to add about our wonderful uh, OpenROV coastal monitoring platform? Well, I think that this opens the doors for citizen science to enter in the arena of uh, keeping an eye on their